All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is payday. Today we're looking through the top earners from this year's Diamond League scene in athletics. And these people made a good living, I'm not going to lie. They made a lot of money just from the Diamond League scene alone. And there are many other ways that you can make a lot of money from appearance money and prize money and world records as well. But we'll get into all of that after this Diamond League breakdown. And we're going to do a top 10 here, but I'm actually going to do a top 11 because coming in at 11th is Noah Lyles in the 100 and 200 meters, competed in five Diamond League events this year, it looks like, earned a solid $62,000. Not too shabby. And coming in at number 10, we've got Karani James from Grenada in the men's 400. I was actually surprised to see him this high because I believe he won a few Diamond League events this year. Um, I know he didn't win the World Championships because that obviously went to Michael Norman, but he apparently won $62,000 as well, tying him with Noah Lyles. Um, but it has him at 10th, not 11th, but that would make them tied at 10th. But I digress. Coming in at number 9 is Valerie Allman from the United States in the women's discus, raking in $66,000. She has been incredibly consistent over the previous few years, and she's thrown incredible distances, so this is not surprising in the least, especially considering that she was also in five Diamond League events as well. And coming in at number 8 is Miltiades Tentoglu from Greece in the long jump. This guy has been incredibly consistent. I've been very impressed with his 8 plus meter jumps making it look like nothing. And he also earned $66,000 as well, tying him with Valerie Allman. And also coming in at exactly $66,000 is Joe Kovacs, the man who threw over 23 meters in the Diamond League Finals. And speaking of the Diamond League Finals, I actually wanted to mention this specifically because the earnings that you got for a Diamond League victory in the Finals was $30,000. So if you were able to win the Diamond League Finale in Zurich, Switzerland, you made a very pretty penny on the day, so... That makes sense that Joe Kovacs is up here, because he beat Krauser for that title. And coming in just ahead of Kovacs is Christian Che from Slovenia, who earned a very solid amount at 70 grand. Now, I believe all of these athletes so far that I've mentioned only appeared in five Diamond League events. So the earnings were slightly less than the people at the top, obviously. But this seems to be like the number. Five Diamond League events, and you're going to be in the top ten. So these are some very solid earnings for just the Diamond League. And coming in just above Christian Che is Chase Ely from the United States in the shot put, earning also $70,000. I'm so happy to see Chase Ely here. Women's shot put does not get the attention it deserves, and she was a beast this season. She absolutely crushed it. She earned not just $70,000 on the Diamond League scene, but she made certainly more money during the World Championships when she won the gold medal, and that was an amazing event, and it was super great to see from the United States once again. And now coming in just above Chase Ely, and this is going to be a surprise to many people because I thought he would be higher. It's Armand Duplantis from Sweden in the pole vault. Now, Duplantis earned $76,000, which is certainly a solid amount. But as many of you might remember, during the World Championships, he earned $100,000 for breaking the world record. And I believe he jumped 6.21 meters, which is, of course, one centimeter above his previous world record. So I'm sure he could jump higher, but... He's saving some more world record earnings in future competitions, I'm sure. So, And you can't slide him for that at all. It's just a smart business decision. And now coming in at number four is Yaroslava Mahuchik from Ukraine in the women's high jump. Now, Mahuchik won $77,250, and she also competed in seven Diamond League events this year. Coming in at number three is Femke Bull from the Netherlands in the women's 400 and the 400 meter hurdles. Now, Bull won $80,000 this season, and she was the top earner of the people who only competed in six Diamond League events this season. So she was averaging well over $10,000 for each Diamond League event, so congratulations to her. And now at number two, we've got Alison Dos Santos from Brazil in the 400 meter hurdles, earning a whopping $90,000 in this year's Diamond League scene. I didn't really think that Alison Dos Santos would be this high, but he did compete in seven Diamond League events this year, and as many of you might know from a recent video, he went completely undefeated, which is pretty incredible considering he was competing against Karsten Vorholm and Rye Benjamin. And even though Warholm was injured throughout much of the season, Dos Santos still beat one of the best hurdlers ever, and uh, he certainly deserved every penny that he won this season. All right, now at number one is an athlete that I think many of you are not going to be expecting because at this point, I had two or three athletes that I thought would be here. But 
At number one, we have Sharika Jackson from Jamaica, earning $99,500, just barely falling short of that six-figure salary. Now, she competed in 10 Diamond League events this year. She was a very prolific and extremely successful runner this year. She was this year's world champion in the 200 meters. She moved up to number two all time, just slightly behind Florence Griffith Joyner's 200 meter world record as well. Jackson was an incredibly smooth, incredibly powerful, and super consistent athlete, and it makes sense that she was so high up on this list. In fact, at number one, she was almost $10,000 ahead of anyone else. And now comes the next part of this money breakdown. Uh, from this year's World Championships, we had three athletes break world records, and that was Sydney McLaughlin in the 400 hurdles, Toby Amusan from Nigeria in the 100 hurdles, and of course, Mondo Duplantis in the men's pole vault. These three not only won $80,000 for winning first at this year's World Finals, but they got a nice little paycheck of 100 grand for breaking the world record. This is a lot of money, and you can imagine that all of these athletes probably got closer to probably two hundred dollars to three hundred thousand dollars just from earnings, but you gotta remember, these athletes also have endorsements, they have appearance money. Anyways, I thought this was a pretty cool breakdown of the top Diamond League earnings this year, but again, this is not an entire picture of their salaries. It's just one part, so it's good to see that track and field is making pretty decent money. Uh, nothing like basketball, football, or baseball, obviously. Those athletes are in the nine figures. But hey, you gotta start somewhere, and it's great to see. So yeah, I'll leave a link below to all of these breakdowns, and yeah, that's gonna do it. See ya.